Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back, welcome back. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. This is a channel for Virgos only. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. All right, you guys, so we're gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna take a little peek into July and I'm gonna use the Celtic Cross to see what the energies are for the month of July for love. So let's get started with your reading. Hello, everyone in the chat. All right, Virgo. Past, present, future energies for Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. Knight of Wands in the past, present, King of Pentacles. The challenge is the Eight of Pentacles. What's driving the reading is the Six of Cups. Crowning the reading is the Ten of Swords. Near future, the High Priestess. Position of you and your advice, Four of Cups. External to you is the Two of Wands. Hopes and fears, the Eight of Swords. The outcome, the Eight of Wands. And the Moon. Bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords. There's an assertiveness here. Um, this, the overall message, the overall energy here is being assertive, aggressive, but not, um, not bullying like, but there's a message here that's trying to get through to you either by another person or a message that you are seeking to deliver. Um, okay. Writing a letter. Somebody might be writing a letter to you. Um, or drawing up some plans or thinking about sending something to you, maybe a text, some type of communication could be coming from a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And this feels like very positive with the sun and the chariot is here with the lovers. I feel like somebody's coming in to connect with you. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but you're going to be receiving some kind of message, a letter, a text, an email, some sort that somebody is going to be writing to you and will send you. This can be a delivery. Um, could be like, um, uh, if it's a text message, it's like delivered through some type of an app, like a server of some sort. Um, yeah, you're definitely getting a very positive message um, and it feels like somebody's coming in to try to connect with you, all right? Um, with the lovers here, somebody's making a decision, coming to see you, coming to connect with you, wants to meet up. All right, let's take a look. So past energy, Knight of Wands. So I feel like in the past there was some type of... Um, feels like a lot of passionate energy in the past with you and previous lovers or one in particular could be this person could be just the general theme let's see but also came with a lot of anxiety and stress okay the current energy though I love it it's you being in your element here with the king of pentacles the challenge for you is to stay focused, but it's also the benefit to stay, to be, I feel like a lot of you are trying to stay focused on your work at this time and what you're building and your consistency, things that you're trying to repair in your life, uh, whatever you're mastering, whatever your craft is, you're trying to master. A lot of you have, are really just, feels like you're in damage control or you're just trying to repair or rebuild. Um, and are, are have already started that process and I see you being very consistent here in your everyday which is good you're, you're very focused on your coin okay or at least if it's not money on the tangible things in your in your life you know like the reality what's real in your life you're very grounded and down to earth but it looks like you may want to have some kind of um, you're still, I feel like a lot of you are still doing that because there's some romanticizing of some past 
memories, childhood memories, okay? Um, and I feel like that's pushing you forward that maybe for some of you don't want to be thinking about past energies or things. You're trying to maybe think about if there's any kind of reminiscing or nostalgia that's going on for you. You're trying to only think about the good times. Keep yourself in a very positive mental state but what's crowning is the ten of swords so there's this conflict so there was some kind of betrayal or um somewhere in something from the past you felt like you were stabbed in the back um i definitely feel like you're trying to surrender to the divine here in july okay but this is present what's going on and i feel like some of you are just trying to make peace with the past okay um put things behind you and just kind of look at a past situation whether it was with siblings or past previous lovers or a lover in particular or family members friends whichever it is just kind of like look the reality right now is that you feel like i i know what i can do and i'm working with what i have and that's a fact. And I'm not trying to work with things I don't have. I'm trying to build and create with the tools that I have here in front of me, with what's currently in my life. And that's the best I'm able to arrive at. A lot of you might have this sense, or you specifically just had this sense that somebody betrayed you. Or that, you know, in your head, your mental, your thoughts are just exhausted. You're defeated. You don't want to think about negative things, you know. And I feel you're, you're driving yourself to just kind of, you know, put it behind you. Put it in the past. Just um, try to only think of what was positive out of a particular relationship or a situation. Now, coming up, you have the high priestess here. So you're really getting into your intuition. A lot of you are going quiet. A lot of you are doing this. Let me just keep sh let me just keep my mouth shut and not dredge up anything from the past and not try to do it. Some of you are just kind of like, you're holding on to some secrets. You're not revealing anything. You're keeping things quiet. You don't want to talk. Some of you have just gone into mystery mode. You don't want to communicate. You have a little conflict between um, like your head. Some, for some of you, it's like your feet, what's driving you. It's like you're, you're, where you stand, like you're standing in the past, but your head is saying, no, that's not the place to be. There was nothing but betrayal there and deceit and deception and lies. You know, so a lot of you have this maybe some cognitive dissonance or you're like romanticizing some of you things the good things but then your head's like no uh no somebody stabbed you in the back not once not twice but maybe several times so there's a little bit of like trying to let go of this energy and what you're capable of doing right now is just to keep building and working with what you have and with what you know okay because th that energy seems to have not really come together i feel like your head and your heart are kind of at a, at a battle with each other they're not in sync not yet maybe they will be later but not yet so going forward into july you're just kind of like you know I'm not saying anything. I'm just trusting my gut, trusting my intuition, listening to the vibrations that I get. I'm keeping my secrets to myself. That whatever I'm learning, I'm not revealing. I'm not saying anything to anybody. So you're going into kind of, yeah, kind of pushing back here with the seven of wands. Nobody can come in. Anybody that tries to find out any kind of thing that's going on with you, you know, you're you're pushing back, you're defensive in a lot of ways. You're like, no, you can't know my secrets, you can't know my truth, you can't know what I'm thinking, whoever it is, and any lovers trying to get in or anybody like that, you're very protective of yourself, okay? Yeah, and you have the Four of Cups sitting in the position of you, so, this is kind of like, I'm not sure about my options. I see there's options. I don't know if I want to choose. 
I don't, I'm just kind of indifferent or I feel, some of you just kind of feel a little bit like apathetic at this time. It's almost like I'm feeling a sense of being stoic when it comes to your love life, you know? Maybe a little bit of, a little bit of depression, you know? Or maybe some of you might, you know, because you see how this person here is grasping themselves. This is like, you're giving yourself a self hug right now. This is what I feel like you're doing. Um, you're self hugging, which is self loving, um, through any kind of love type of thing. You know, fours are always about structure, foundations, balance. I feel like a lot of you are rebuilding your foundation of love at this time, looking at past relationships. Um, it's for some the past relationships that are have failed, you're kind of like hugging yourself whether symbolically or literally and just saying you know it's okay it's okay you're going through a lot of healing things right now um and for some of you from something in particular in the past um that maybe at one time was really nice and felt innocent and felt um sweet it's not just having these cups here but it's also like filling them with these beautiful peonies and um flowers and there was growth and there was water constant flow of emotion and uh, nourishment here okay so what's external to you is the two of wands so there's somebody here um and this is external to you who's kind of it feels like waiting um there's a waiting waiting for something waiting for some type of um decision somebody wants to make plans or is waiting they could be waiting for uh, the right time to make plans let's get another look here or they're standing yeah look so much waiting so much looking this is like the same person person comes out one day standing out looking on the horizon they got their two wands and then the next day they're coming out with three and they're coming up with these ideas and these plans and you know um there might be some type of communication like i was saying here somebody's writing something or there's a letter of some sort or a text or an email coming to you um and this person may be waiting to hear back something like if they can come see you or if they can talk to you or sit with you or have some type of a conversation with you all right um and every day, it's like they go to the water or they, they, they look out. So they either go to their mailbox, they check their email, check their phone, you know, looking for some type of response. So you've got somebody here. And that's what I was saying in the beginning. Um, you know, to be honest, like, it's the first time I ever saw the three of pentacles where I thought it looked like somebody, see how he has the pen there? Where I thought somebody was writing a letter, but it's writing a letter to you because there's the pentacle. So whoever this person is, is writing to you, to Virgo, okay? All right, so you're very restricted right now. And you know, <laughs> You're fearing, so your hopes and fears, it's kind of like, am I going to stay stuck? Am I, am I always going to forever be a self-imposed prisoner? Or am I going to be able to get out of this? Whatever this thing is. I feel like some of you are just, you're not parallel with this other person. You're going through your own stuff here, Virgo, and healing and trying to recover. And you've got somebody else here who's trying to take part. Some of you may have been involved with uh, person place or friend or thing or colleague or lover and just decided to take some time out because you were having some anxiety or some stress and you just couldn't you didn't want to dump something on somebody okay um you may not have told them you may have just dove or disappeared or just you know um or maybe there was some type of um 
somebody was in and out of your life and you just felt like, well, I don't owe them anything. They're not trying to be my plus one or my other half. So I don't feel like I owe them anything. Some of you have that energy going on and you're really just doing your own thing here. So you've, you've got somebody, like I said, trying to come in, but I don't know that you want to open up to this person or reveal anything to this person. Okay. And I see that here in the outcome because you have the eight of wands, which again, is communication, travel, and then you have the moon, which is kind of like giving illusion, being deceptive, not really showing anything to anybody, not showing yourself, you know, and somebody's trying to figure out what the hiding is. They think you're hiding. Or that you're you're not responding to them, or you're not saying anything to you. you're not saying anything to anybody, and so they're just going to keep reaching out, and keep sending messages, or keep to, trying to reach you to bring you this news. That, and what is this news? What is this news that this person is trying to bring? Actually, I'm going to take a look. What is this news that somebody's trying to tell you? They're trying to open up. Oh, it's part from the lovers here that they want to have, they be in a love relationship or connect with you or be in a long-term type of thing. What is this message going to say to Virgo? Okay. Oh, I want to tell you how I feel. So this person's coming in with a feeling message, okay? They're wondering if you're happy without them because I feel like this person is not happy without you. They want things to be different, Virgo. Oh, they want to tell you that they are changing and they're becoming a better person. And they remember every detail of some time that you two were together or that you spent together. And they want to tell you that they hid who they were from you. They didn't show you them their true selves, their vulnerable side. And you should know that the lovers is a card of vulnerability as well. This is that opening up. You can't have love unless there's transparency. And you're not being transparent with the uh, high priestess. You're closed off here. Okay. And this person, that's what they were hiding. They might have been blaming you for something. And now they're acknowledging that actually it was their fault, but that they blamed you. And this person, so they replay conversations that you two have had over and over. So if you've had um, things that were said, this person hasn't forgotten things that, you know, you said to them, things that they said to you, or the, the re, hitting the replay button on something. So Virgo, it feels like the month of July, there's going somebody here, I feel like is going to be trying to reach out to you to connect with you, um, to try to reestablish a love connection, but not in the way it was before. Okay. So not in this in and out energy with this lusty knight of wands, you know, um, someone who was just giving the passion, um, or trying to relieve their stress and anxiety through physical intimacy and negating all of everything else in a relationship. I feel like somebody here is really coming forward and wants to have that love connection, like the whole thing, not just the night, the whole thing. All right, Virgo. Well, it was short and sweet, but I hope you enjoy that. And I will see you tomorrow with your daily reading. All right, you guys take care. We'll